So the endocannabinoid system, it's such an important system for our bodies. How do we look after it? How do we keep it in top shape? Our body's endocannabinoids are made from the good fats, so omega-3 fats or EPA and DHA. The easiest place to find these is in fish oils. That's the most concentrated area. So why do we need these omega-3 fats in our diet? Because our body's own cannabinoids, the endocannabinoids, are made from these fats on demand in our body. If we have a stress, an injury, or a, or a headache, or pain, our body's endocannabinoid system is stimulated, and it's stimulated to produce our body's endocannabinoids on demand from these good fats, the omega-3 fats. If we don't have them, it's very hard for our body to make enough endocannabinoids. So we want to eat as much of these good fats as possible. From a plant-based source, the best way to get these, uh, these omega-3 fats will probably be hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil is an amazing product. It, it's high in protein. It's got all the essential amino acids. And importantly, it has the precursors to these omega-3s. Not quite as efficient uh, biologically as fish oils. You have to eat a lot more of them, say maybe four to six tablespoons per day but it will still be a way to provide these omega-3s for your body. We need to avoid any inflammatory foods. Anything that inflames our body increases the need for our endocannabinoid system to activate and decrease that inflammation. So stress and inflammation, inflammatory foods, sugar, processed foods, um, a stressful lifestyle, this increases our stress response and it causes our body's endocannabinoid system to activate to reduce that response. So it's using its energy where it could be using it to heal us more. So things like probiotics have been shown to increase our endocannabinoid levels, especially in the gut. Uh, exercise and meditation. Physical therapies such as massage and osteopathy have been clinically shown to increase endocannabinoid levels after therapy. Of course, phytocannabinoid supplementation. Small amounts of THC, as I mentioned in an earlier podcast, stimulate our body's endocannabinoid system to be more responsive to its own endocannabinoids and in fact more responsive to further THC administration. And we need to decrease stress. We need to decrease that cortisol and adrenaline release. Allow our body to relax so endocannabinoid system is not unnecessarily stimulated and can be used when it's needed to be used to reduce any areas of our body that are in disease or pain. Thanks. I'm Dr. Kay.